Hey guys, Tommy here, and today we're gonna talk about basically the top three investment apps in the UK. By the way, this video was supposed to be a top five, but quickly I found out that I did not like most of the apps in the UK, so I cut it down to three of the most decent ones. By the way, Tommy, why are you talking about the UK in a video when you make this for Americans? The answer is, well, my second largest audience is the UK, and they've been asking for a while, Tommy, make a video on alternatives to acorns, so here I am making one. By the way, guys, by the end of this video, I will give you guys an alternative to all these ways right here because to be honest the top three are kind of like the top three of the worst bunch possible okay and on top of that guys if you guys are American live in the US like I do well you can still watch this video because basically it does help you understand exactly how apps work outside of America and why the apps here are kind of a little bit better because of competition and how competition works here okay and guys comment down below and let me know are you watching this video right now from the US or from the UK comment down below let me know really want to find out and on top of that guys whenever you're investing in the US or the UK what I like to do basically is invest for the long term so I do have money invested in the UK by investing to ETFs and invest like worldwide but the point is it's all about long-term investment when it comes to my portfolio and by the way if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and also the like button and also the bell button and that way you guys get notified every single time I post a new video which again is every single day I do post a new video and now the first thing is this guys when it comes to this video I'm going to order everything from the best to the worst and on top of that some of these are so bad that they're not really even FSCS approved or insured so basically the FSCS guys basically like the FDIC insurance here for 250k but in the UK it's only really up to $85,000 but it is what it is you know so wherever you are in the world you have to deal with whatever you have and that's basically it you make apples out of the lemonades you have in where you live okay I don't know that I think that doesn't make any sense but you get my point right the point is you live in the UK or the US you have to do what you got to do with what you got over there okay that's the entire point there or you can just move to the US or you can just move to the UK if you want to okay and now guys the first app on my list is actually the money box app now this app right here is the equivalent in a sense of acorns for the UK people out there and the first thing is this guys although it seems like a great app you know when I invested with acorns I invested seven dollars and sixty cents like in 2018 December now it's February 2020 a year and two months later and basically I have around ten thousand five hundred dollars so what I wanted to know was basically can I do the same exact thing with the money box app that I can do for the acorn app okay and the answer was well I'm going to compare the pros and the cons and have you guys choose exactly how everything would reflect if you guys actually chose to invest with the money box app by the way this is one of the best ones to be honest with you but in reality when you're comparing three really bad apps that aren't really that great the best one isn't going to be the best one out there to be honest with you but in the UK this is the best app out there to be honest okay now the first thing is this guys the pros when it comes to the pros with this app you can actually do roundups so for example if you buy a water bottle for like a dollar sixty it rounds up to the nearest pound in this case it will be 40 cents saved into your account or invested if you want to and yes you're correctly because this account right here actually has a savings account that actually pays you around 1.40 percent something that acorns here in the u.s actually lacks and i'm not a fan of but i do appreciate the money box actually has its own savings accounts which is also awesome and it's also fscs insured which is awesome also right and on top of that guys they do let you invest into different type of portfolios depending on your risk level so for example if you are very cautious or very moderate or want to be more adventurous and more risky you can do that if you want to and the funds are based on three categories it's basically on um, the global share fund on top of that property share fund basically means like real estate the global means like the entire world and on top of that the entire cash fund which basically stands for investments that are very safeguarded and that way you don't have to be like oh my gosh I'm gonna lose all my money all of a sudden the answer is no not really okay so you know nothing to worry about there and also guys I do have something called a junior account for people that are minors and the parents can do it for them but the main pro that I enjoy the most that we don't really have in the US whatsoever is called an ESA account now this is called a lifetime ESA account now Tommy what the heck is this for people in the US I didn't know to be honest but basically it's an account where the government allows you to save money for two things retirement or to buy your first home and like the 401k here where we save money and it kind of like like makes more money without taxes but then we pay taxes in the end well with this account right here well they ask the government 
over there in the in Europe actually gives <laughs> this is insane, right? But they actually give you 25% more of your money every single time you invest up to four thousand dollars every single year. So for example, if you invest in four thousand dollars, they'll give you a thousand dollars as a bonus. And now the catch is you can only really use that money to buy your first home or for retirement. But if you ask me, it's kind of like having a guaranteed 25% every single time you invest every single year. And to me, that is awesome. So if you are in the UK, take advantage of this. We don't have it in the US and we wish we had it, but to be honest, that's a pretty solid deal if you ask me. Although in the UK, well, although here in the US we have like a 401k, we can put in up to $19,000, which is awesome, but also grow it like tax-free. And if we wanna do buy a home with it, we can also do that, but it's kinda like more like tricky with that. So it's cool, but the UK makes it very simple by giving you guys an automatic 25% gain without having to do a single thing up to $4,000. If you ask me, that's a great deal. Now. Although I do like a lot of things about this app right here, there are a few things I did not enjoy and the majority of them are basically fees. You guys know me, okay? I do not like fees, not a big fan of them at all because basically you're charging me money to do basically nothing and on top of that, why would I pay you to do something that basically doesn't cost any money to actually do, okay? Now, the first thing is this guys, this entire money box um, app charges you a fee of a pound, a dollar, okay? A pound or a dollar, whatever you wanna call it. But the point is, that's not a big deal, okay? No problem there whatsoever. However, the big deal comes into play when they try to charge you a 0.45% management fee for actually having an account with them. And that's something that I do not appreciate. And also, they do charge you the fun fees. Like for example, if you have a fun, they do charge fees that's normal, like no comment here. But that 0.45% fee to actually manage your entire portfolio and do this and that, the answer is that is a ton of money that will actually cost you a lot of money in the long run, Tommy, but it's less than 1%, no big deal. The answer is, well, I did some math and I found out that that 1%, well, that 0.45% is gonna cost you around 16% of your money down the long term. Well, Tommy, what do you mean here? Well, the answer is, guys, if you invested $1,000 for 40 years at a 7% gain, and then charge you that 0.45% at the end of the entire investment period, that would cost you around $2,471, which means you would lose around 16.51% of your value of your portfolio just because it charges that 0.45% fee. And that is a big deal if you ask me. So basically, I am not a big fan of fees, but I did notice something. In the UK, fees are normal. But here in the US, everyone's competing against each other. So like, okay, I won't charge you a fee whatsoever. That way I got more customers and make more money. But it's like, why would you charge me a fee when you're charging me a dollar, a pound already? And if you have a lot of users, that's around $200,000 every single month, okay? So why the fee? I don't get it. I would remove it if you asked me. I don't like it whatsoever. And now the second investment app I found is actually called the Plum app. Now here it is. It's not like a plum is a fruit, but it's like a plum. And that's what the, like, have you noticed, have you guys noticed like every single investment app out there is like after like a fruit or a vegetable or something like that. I don't know why they're doing this now, but it's kind of pretty cool. Acorns, an acorn, what is it? Is an acorn a vegetable? Is it just a tree? Oh, it's a seed, right? Yes. It's <laughs> I'm gonna delete this part of the video, okay? I'm gonna clip this out. Somebody edit this out, okay? But guys, basically, the Plum Investment um, application for the UK is kind of like the AI sector of what we have here with Wealthfront. And the basic idea is that the AI calculates how much money it can save for you by analyzing your spending habits and then puts that money on the side for you without you noticing. It's very low, like a dollar, a dollar 45, a dollar 46, and that way you don't really notice that much. But the point is, it does save money automatically for you and it's no big deal. And to be honest, guys, when I first heard about it, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, I saved money without thinking about saving money. That's pretty awesome. And it takes away the hassle of having to be like, okay, I'm gonna save this much, but maybe next month, this way is like done automatically for you and you don't really feel it and you don't really even notice it. However, the main thing is guys, some pros are that basically, it only costs a dollar to start investing. No big deal there, okay? On top of that, it does have roundups. So whenever you spend money on a water, you get the roundup up to that to a dollar or a pound. And on top of that, they do have over 650,000 people, a part of the journey. So basically, they're making a ton of money every single month, which basically means that the customer should get more features for free because basically they are making the bulk of their money by that $1 fee, which is awesome, around $650,000 every single month, which is a ton of money, if you ask me. Almost a million, okay, that's awesome. Now, the main thing is this, guys, they do let you invest into Vanguard funds, which is awesome, and on top of that, they also have different portfolios based on what you want to invest into. For example, if you want to do green companies, or tech companies, or American companies, or UK companies, whatever you want to do, that's awesome, okay? ETFs like that are awesome. I agree with that 100%. Now, they also let you invest based on your fear, 
basically 80% bonds 20 percent stocks whatever you want to do basically here but the main thing guys is the details of the cons the cons i did not really like and that's why it's number two over money box and here's why guys the first thing is this guys they do charge you a one dollar monthly fee and a 0.15 percent management fee which is like less than the money box one but here is where things actually get tricky okay well this app has a bunch of features I wish you had in the US right here, but in reality, they try to charge you money for this stuff also. Like, why not just include it with the membership? I don't get it. But basically, they have a feature for money challenges to help you save money every single year, and, and also a feature to save money for emergencies, and also a feature to actually save money into different accounts and goals, and that way you can get whatever you want to get. A PS4, a PlayStation, it's the same thing, but the point is different goals, different goals, different goals, and that is awesome but they wanna charge you an extra dollar every single month. Now, Tommy, no big deal, only $24 a year. The answer is, well, in reality, it is a big deal because it will cost you around $342 every single year at a 7% gain to actually make that $24 fee back. And that's the main thing here. And that's why I don't enjoy all these fees all the time. And also, if all you wanna do is save money, well, you can't really do that because basically, saving money doesn't really give you any interest. So why would you save money here? The answer is you don't want to. Because with Moneybox, it lets you save money, but it also does give you some interest on your money, which is awesome. Now. Tommy, but it's not that bad, okay? I don't care about the savings. I just want to invest money. Well, in reality, the main problem is that even if you're saving money here, your money is not FSCS insured. So basically, if something happens to the company, well, you might lose your money. But they did say they do work with Money Mango that allows you to save their money while your money into e-money, which means that if either Plum shuts down or Mango Pay shuts down, your money gets returned back to you based on European restrictions and regulations. And if I'm being honest, guys, it does sound like a pretty clever way to avoid the entire problem with the FSCS, but if you do want to use this app, the Plum app, I recommend you do more research on how this regulation works and that way you know exactly what you're getting yourself into because if you ask me, I like the standard American um, FDIC insurance more than any other like, oh, you know, it's like a regulation here and there. I like the standard stuff. So FSCS, i rather that than the e-money regulation with the Europeans. I don't know about that that much, okay? That's the entire point here. Now, guys. Whenever it comes to algorithm companies that focus on like, hey, it's all about AI, we save money here, we invest money here, the answer is, well, if you guys are doing everything so optimally, why are you trying to charge me so many fees, you know? So the big thing with Plum is that although they offer all this stuff right here, it's kind of like, why charge me extra money for it, you know? Why not have and try to go for the FSCS insurance? Like, why not do all this stuff? So in reality, Plum is number two. It's not really that bad. If it did have FIC insurance, it had no fees. And on top of that, it also gave you interest. I would probably recommend it over Moneybox. But right now, you guys are not that great, to be honest, okay? Now... The last one that I actually found is kind of like the worst one out of the bunch. By the way, okay, I want to say this right here clearly. This is all based on my opinion because I don't want to get sued, okay? So this is all based on my opinion here. But the last one is called Wombat, okay? Wombat. I don't know why they call it that. But basically, Wombat, kind of like the stash app equivalent to us here, but a little worse. By the way, anyone that knows me knows I'm not a fan of the Stash shop because I don't like how everything works over there, okay? I'm not a fan of it, and I'm not a fan of Wombat because the exact same features that I use in Stash shop are being used right here. Now, the catch is, guys, well, we don't have any fees, so we're better. The answer is, well, you don't have any fees until you hit $1,000 and then they try to charge you money. Now, tell me, how much is the fee? Well, the fee is 0.45%, and that's why I say, guys, okay, I start to think about like how I'm comparing these companies. And to be honest, I can't be like, hey, in America, we have this, the UK charges fees. The answer is in the UK, these apps are pretty decent, you know, but I'm thinking about like, hey, there should be no fees whatsoever. So that's why I'm thinking like this. But in reality, if you're in the UK, you have to deal with the fees, okay? To be honest, that's all you have to do. But I do have an alternative later on in the video. But again, the one that you can start with $10 on top of that, it is FSCS insured, which is awesome. Good job, Jair. And also gives you roundups. And the entire point is that, you know, I like apps, you know, but I don't like apps that try to do too much, try to be too creative, you know. I like things that are simple and just work and just make me money. I'm not here for the looks or like, hey, this is green and blue and yellow, bright colors, oh my God, amazing. The answer is no, I'm here to make money. So basically, they have these template ETFs 
like for gold and for like um like groovy companies and stuff like this and like tech key companies and it's kind of like why would he do this like just make things simple and use vanguard etfs make everything like very nice to understand instead of trying to be like fancy so the point is wombat is the worst one of the bunch because they try to be too creative you know make things simple we're here to make money not to look at a fancy app to be honest with you although the app design is, is, is great it's just the etfs you guys offer seem kind of like nonsense okay so that's why i don't really like it that much okay to be honest if you guys change that also took up the fees which i not a fan of by the way and also added on more investment options well i would probably go with you guys over everyone else but just because of this i i just i don't appreciate it okay i don't like it and that's the main thing here so stop trying to be fancy and just make things simple but guys that is basically it my top three and here is the alternative. Now, if you're in the US, you can just invest whatever you want, Vanguard. But if you're in the UK, you just can't invest into Vanguard like that. What you actually need is a broker or a brokerage to actually manage everything that's actually going on. Unless you have $500,000. I'm guessing you probably don't. That's a lot of money, to be honest, right? So the point is, if you want to do this, I recommend do some Googling and find out the best broker out there without a monthly fee or any management fee and then find out how much money it will cost you versus the management fees in the apps. But I'm guessing that these apps are competing with the brokerage fees, so it's actually cheaper. So the point is, for right now, the Moneybox and also Plum App, not the Womp Bat App, I don't like that one that much, but basically those two are probably gonna be your best options thus far. So try those two out and let me know how it goes and comment down below if you have any more options. And by the way, I found so much in the UK but it was kind of like, oh my gosh, they all have these massive fees and even like bigger fees than these that I did not appreciate. And that's why I didn't include in this video. But comment down below if you have a better option than I put here in this video. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video. And also, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one on one, uno uno, just DM me and I should type Bryson. And before I go, if you want to look at another video, for example, how much money I made from Acorns here in America, watch this video right here. And also look at my face right here. So I don't know. And see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.